Hi, my name is Chrissy White. I'm a 25-year-old commercial and fine art photographer from Seattle, Washington. I'm also a Kuth master. I first discovered photography when I was about 12 years old. I met a girl on MySpace who was a photographer from the UK, and she introduced me to the website Flickr. At the time, a lot of young people were using Flickr as a way to connect with each other and share work. I think it was easier to be a young person learning photography during the digital age because we had access to so many resources like YouTube, Google. Um, we could connect with other people from across the world and see what other individuals were doing from so many different cultures. Tip number one, don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. The artist's biggest enemy is the fear of failure. Sometimes you have to try and try again until you get the result that you wanted. And sometimes you end up with a result that you couldn't even have imagined in the first place. If you never fail, you'll never learn new things. Better? <laughs> Tip two, learn to use what you have. With photography, it's not about what you have or don't have, but how you use what you have. Photograph as often as you can and learn how to use the tools that you have at your disposal. When I started photography, I used a small point and shoot camera and a plastic tripod, and I lit my photographs using lamps that I had around my house. The camera is just a tool and it's not a master. The best one that you have is the one that you have with you. Oftentimes, I don't even use really expensive professional lights. I'll just use mirrors to reflect light back onto my subjects or use modifiers and window light. Sometimes when I want to photograph outside or in the wilderness, instead of bringing big strobe light kits with me, I'll use little speed lights and battery powered LED lights. Oftentimes I'll also light my photographs using headlamps or little camping lanterns, which works really well. Learn what your tools can do for you and how to use them to your best advantage. Tip three, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open and observe as much of the world as you possibly can. For example, notice the emotional quality of light falling on the trees, or the way a stranger looks at you, or maybe the way two lines intersect with each other. These are all things that can really make an extraordinary composition. I think as a photographer, you really get used to just seeing the world in a way that maybe other people don't see the world. I found marketing my work on social media works really, really well, as long as you stay active. You also have to approach brands and meet people in person. The face-to-face -face interaction is extremely important even in the digital age. Or you could also come up with a creative promo card to send them. If you make something that's beautifully printed, someone's more likely to hold on to it and pin it up above their desk or in their office than if you just send them an email. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and show your work to the world. Be proud of what you do and other people will see that and want to work with you. When I was first starting out and I needed to create a portfolio, I would reach out to people that I respected or people whose work really spoke to me. We would do trade together and eventually I was able to put all of these things into a portfolio so that I could reach out to clients who I really wanted to work with. I think photography is a way to interpret the world through my own vision and I see the world as a very vibrant, colorful, surreal place. Photography doesn't always have to be this big, serious production. It can also just be really fun. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I'll be making more videos with Coop, so make sure you subscribe and feel free to share your work with us. We'd love to see it. Bye.